totally got gone. Yep. I think I'm on a golden shiner. I was waiting for a walleye. Getting us set up, about to try and get some perch and uh, possibly some pike or walleye. Got a golden shiner on this rod here and uh, doing a tungsten widow maker with a wiggler on the other line. I got a tip up outside that also has a golden shiner. So let's hope we can get into something here. And uh, that's the goal for today is just to kind of catch some perch. My brother's been out here fishing since this morning. He's been doing pretty good. And he's just over a little bit. And uh, I'm just getting here and getting set up. So we'll see what the bite is like. Might be a little late on the perch. Could be some crappie. Hopefully some pike and walleye. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. So stay tuned. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Hey. Oop. I got our first perchy. Look at that. Nice little perch. Go home. He's going home. Probably got my wiggler on me. It's one one thing I don't like about wigglers, they come off really easy. One thing I do like about wigglers, it seems like I do really good fishing with them. There's another one. Ooh, this is a good one. There we go, look at that. We let them have it. Start a little pile. I told you, as soon as I put a fresh one on though, just automatic. They end up jamming. Oh yeah, forgot to show you guys. Nice perch, probably eight inches. Seven, eight inches. It's about the good keeper size, I'd say. About seven to 12. If they're over 12, they start tasting funny. Under seven, they're impossible to clean. So I'd say about seven to 12 inches is good perch keeping size. There we go. It's just a little guy. Uh, you like him? He's little. Just a little perch. It's flaring up for you. Give it to him. Give it to the people. Down she go. Glow up a little, maybe that'll help. The white drop I'm using, it glows green. Got a little red on it too. A white and red glows green. Mitch is using gold tungsten, um, which is normally what I'd be using. You guys hear me say that a lot, but had this one tied on and I sent it down. I caught a couple fish, so I didn't really want to switch. Plus, the closer it gets to dark, I kind of like having glow. <laughs> Did it good. She got about four dozen of these. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Ooh, stuck me. Didn't even realize he was there. Another eight, seven, eight. Beautiful perch, guys. Beautiful. Keep that rolling for a little while. <laughs> uh, I missed him. I like to stick my finger right by the bale here to jig. I don't know if anyone else really does that, but Instead of jigging my rod, I kind of just jig the line. And then I also have my finger there to feel the sensitivity when a fish hits. 
because I use a bigger rod. It's a 36 inch medium light uh, Sedona made by Shimano. And it's got a nice action on the tip you know, for the panfish, but I just always have put my finger on the line. And I think that just really helps me feel the bite a lot more than watching the rod tip or anything. I guess you could use a bobber, but I don't technically. I don't use bobbers too many times, too much. Hey, there we go. Run that seven, eight inch mark again. He's a keeper. Don't steal my wiggler. Another decent one, huh? What do you think? Starting. Starting a pile. I've only been here for like an hour and I feel like I've done better in this hour than I've done my last five trips out. Hey. Uh, that was not bad. That's borderline though. That's that one's down in the questionable size. I don't know how long they're gonna bite, but we'll go for, try and get our limit, maybe. Hopefully, like as if whatever your bait, you know, is swimming away from the bottom. I kind of do that till I'm a couple feet off the bottom, then I go back down and do it again. Usually though, just like that, you can get a fish to hit on your way up. Get it on. Four, about well, six or five. <laughs> I literally threw him in, he jumped back out. Little guy. It's not even a very big teardrop. <laughs> That's the culprit. That's what we're losing it to right there. <laughs> this little turd. That's why. There, maybe he won't bite no more that I caught him. <laughs> Give me a break, you little nibblers. Oh, that ain't a little one. That's not a little one. Hey. <laughs> Beauty. A little chomped out. Something bit him off the... Bit his fin off. Little turds. Grab it on. Ooh. Ooh there we go. That Widowmaker. Widowmaker tungstens. Telling you. Normally, uh, gold is one of my favorites to use for perch, but this this white glow doing pretty good. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that, I could hear that the whole time. We hit it on the way down. That's another. Another beaut. Right there. Flag, guys. Spool is not moving. Ooh, there's a fish. Holy! Look at that perch! Oh my God, guys! Look at that perch! They come out a golden shiner. I was waiting for a walleye. Look at the shiner he just ate. The shiner is like a third of his body. This is a monster. Look at that perch. 10 or 11 inch perch. Just fat belly on that thing though. These are all like seven and eight inch perch and they don't even look close to that. You know what I'm saying? 
That's a perch right there. Wish you could catch them all like that out here. You think golden shiner, you're thinking walleye, you're thinking pike, you're thinking anything but a perch like that. That's a jumbo to grab onto that, but that's awesome. Hey, I'm down with that. I'll catch perch like that all day. Makes it worth it. I also want to do a video where we just come and uh, we just fish for pike only somewhere. You guys let me know in the comments here if you want to see something like that. Where we just do a pike only adventure. We'll do like some tip ups and we'll re-rig all our rods for heavy gear and use big minnows and you know maybe some like goldies and some uh, suckers and stuff. But comment below guys. Tell me if you want to see something like that. So I think that'd be pretty cool. What did we just do? We messed up. We messed up. Hey, they're back. Slow down there for a minute. And then they just stroll back in. Oh, feels like a good one. That yeah, feels like a better one. Still not what we want. He's going back. What? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's not a biggie, biggie. I thought it was a bigger one. Just a nicey. Nicer. All right, guys. Uh, it's getting close to being dark, and we're going to hang out for a little while, so got these little things that my buddy Kevin gave me a couple of them little bells on it it's got a little clip and then uh, coolest part is this and now you can see your flag or wherever you want to hook it I'm gonna hook it right to the flag I got a little metal thing there and I'll be able to see that and I'll be able to hear that when it goes off here in a little bit pretty cool I'm gonna take that jig and I'm gonna put that fake rubber wiggler that I showed you guys earlier. These big boys on there. I think we're pretty... Let's go see what we can get with this bigger jiggly wiggly looking thing. Guys, it has really slowed down. Uh, still got the shiners going, tip up, and the rod here. Still rocking that wiggler and uh, the bigger jig set up on this here. Getting dark and fish aren't biting. So, well, guys, uh, really uh, haven't had much happen since last update. So, I'm gonna start packing her up here soon. It was fun. I hope everyone enjoyed as much as I did. And uh, keep following along for some more action. Don't forget to like that video and uh, go and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned till the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.